Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna learn how to make stuffed peppers. These are really delicious, meaty, cheesy, and gooey. It's super easy to make this, it's super delicious, and you can easily impress your friends and family over the holidays. It's so simple to make this recipe that all you need is some bell peppers, some cheese, put some meat in there, more cheese, more meat, and then finally top it off with some extra cheese. Just make sure you don't burn it while you're making this. But before we begin, consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button. As it's free for you, doesn't cost you anything, but it really adds value to my channel. Full recipe is listed in the description below, so do check that out. I list it in both metric and imperial units, so do check it out. For making this recipe, the very first thing I'm going to do is cut some Anaheim peppers. I'm going to add Anaheim peppers so that they bring mild heat to our recipe. You can either dice them or cut them like I am in long pieces. I usually like to take out the stem and the seeds, but it's your call. If you'd like to keep them on, you can keep them on. Next, we're going to try and roast it. You're going to roast it at 300 to 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 5 to 10 minutes or until your peppers get roasted, kind of like this. This should turn brown in color. Once the peppers are roasted, you can put it to the side and we'll come back to that later. Next, I'm going to focus on making the filling for this pepper. For this, I'm using chicken but it's really your preference. You could use beef, goat, lamb, whatever you feel like using. For making the chicken, I'm gonna use 1 4th cup or 60 milliliters of olive oil. You could use any kind you have. Next, I'm gonna add one medium sized onion and then saute it until it becomes translucent, kind of like this. Then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the chicken. I'm using minced chicken because it's a lot easier to do the filling on the pepper. Also, I'm using about 500 grams or about 1.1 pound of chicken. Next, you're just going to go in and toss the chicken into the pan. At this point, I realized my pan is too small for this chicken, even though I'm only using one large chicken breast. So I transferred it over into another bigger pan. But basically, you're going to put the chicken in and let it cook for 5 to 7 minutes or until it changes color. Kind of like what mine is. Next, you're going to go ahead and add in some garlic. I am using minced garlic. Continue to stir for about 2 to 3 extra minutes. And then next, you're ready to add in all the seasoning. To start the seasoning, add in one teaspoon or three grams of cumin powder. Then add half a teaspoon or four grams of salt. Remember to tweak the recipe as per your taste. If you want to add more salt, then add more salt, vice versa. Next, add about one teaspoon or one gram of crushed black pepper. Then add about one teaspoon or five grams of soy sauce. And for added flavor, I added one teaspoon or five grams of vinegar. Finally, I added some Zambul Yulik. You can easily find this at the grocery store. Basically, it's a hot chili sauce. And I added about 30 grams or 2 tablespoons of Zambul Yulik. If you don't have this, just add any chili sauce. Next, stir everything up nicely and let it cook for a good few minutes. You're going to put in a lid and then let it cook for at least 10 to 15 minutes so that the chicken gets cooked properly. The overall cook time is going to take anywhere from 20 to 25 minutes, depending on the chicken. Towards the end, we're going to add in some oregano. We're just going to add half of it and then keep the other half for the peppers. We're also going to bring in the Anaheim peppers and add those in. Again, only add half and then we're going to keep the other half when we are actually stuffing the peppers. And remember, besides chicken, you could also use any other type of meat that you want to use. Mix everything nicely one last time, turn off the heat and put your chicken to the side. Next, we're going to focus on making the peppers. For the base, we're going to use bell peppers. I got red, green, orange, and yellow bell peppers. Make sure you get big, large kinds as stuffing the peppers becomes a lot easier with large peppers. It's really easy to prepare them because all you're trying to do is gut it out, basically remove all the stem and seeds from inside. So just take a knife, run it through, kind of like I did, and then remove the stem and the seeds. If you did it correctly, here's what it should look like. It should be hollow from inside, nothing in there. Also for the cheese, I'm going to be using mozzarella and cheddar. You can use whatever cheese you like. For making the peppers, all you need to do is pour in some cheese, then some meat, then more cheese, and then some more meat to top it off. Also remember to add the peppers, Anaheim peppers that we had in the beginning. Go ahead and top it off for that extra added flavor. Finally, top off everything with some extra cheese. Add some dried oregano for that extra flavor. And then you're ready to bake this in the oven. You're going to bake this in the oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes or until the cheese is turning brown. I do have a regular oven, but I use the Insta air fryer for baking this. It took about 30 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and it actually burned all the cheese from the top. So not a good experience. I might actually be returning this. But I was actually able to save this by adding more cheese and let it broil for another 5 minutes and here's what everything looked like after that. The peppers were quite aromatic, adding that oregano really added more flavor to it. For the taste test, I asked my wife to test it out and then she really enjoyed eating it. This recipe is pretty great because it has so many flavors and textures. It's got meat, cheese, and peppers. Very aromatic. In the end, I'm really happy how this recipe came out. I really enjoyed making and eating this. So I do recommend that you try it out and try it out for your family and friends. In the end, remember to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, take care.